noise. And I can't find it on here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. I'll wait for a few of you to join me before I go into it too much. Um, right. So I've got these towels here. Uh, they are Pima cotton towels and they are antibacterial towels, apparently. Hi. Hello. Hi, Nancy. Um, so this is just one of another one off again where I've just decided to come online and I've been I bought these ages ago and I was wanting to monogram them and um I bought I can't remember where I bought it from I think it was I'll have to have a look but I bought a whole set of these monograms and this being one of them I like this one because it's I'm going to use one color thread I'm not going to use different color threads the whole thing's going to be the same color because it's like embossed I like the embossed style. So basically everything's all the same and well, you'll see when it's done, um, the same color. Uh, I have got, I'm going to be using some thread from ETC supplies, which I bought a long time ago. I'm just going to go and get it and show you what color I'm going to be using. Um, <clears throat> I had a choice of two colors. One's, uh, one's a Madeira thread. Okay. Now, that's my Madeira thread, and I think it's not quite quite the right colour. And luckily enough, I bought this colour a while ago, and I think that it goes a lot better. So I'm going to try this. Um, I've got to put it onto my machine. I thought I'd just do everything from scratch, just to make a video. So this is from ETC Supplies. Um, as you know, I do um, recommend them for other items, such as their backing and their uh, Mighty Hoop systems as well. They've got a lot of equipment for embroidery. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to put that onto my machine. They do recommend, if you're using their thread, to um, either loosen or tighten the, um, the what do you call it? See, there's me again. <laughs> the tension. But I'm not touching the tension on my machine. I haven't touched it since I bought it. So I'm not going to touch it now. All right. Hi, Letitia. Um, are you new here? I gather you are. If you are, welcome. It's nice to nice to have you all. Um, right. So I'm going to go and thread my machine in a minute. But first of all, I am going to. There's my. I've got a flannel and a hand towel. OK, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm, going to be putting my own initials on it it's going to be with the embossed um monogram okay so it's like an embossed style uh i am going to um change i'm going to have two different sizes so this one here measures um uh, let me have a look it measures 95.6 mils in width and the same in height so it's square so 95 i want to have <clears throat> a look at that on my tape measure so 9.5 centimeters so we're looking at about that big which is okay for a hand towel or a towel in fact that's probably a perfect size so we're looking yeah so it's fine for that so for the flannel I want to make it let's take these labels off these are Pima cotton which is a really high quality cotton it's like a bit like Egyptian cotton um, <clears throat> And I didn't pay that much for them, actually, but yeah. So, right. So we're going to fold the flannel like so. I did an embroidered, an embroidered bunny with Olu a couple of weeks ago, and I did it the wrong way up. So it wasn't a good ending, but it was okay. Now, I think a six, maybe a 6.5, maybe 6.5 on the flannel. We'll, we'll do that. So I will save this as a 9.5, first of all. Okay, I'm going to use my mouse because I don't like using the pad um so let me send and save that one to the USB so basically I'm using PE design okay for those of you that don't already know hi Daisy hi Lottie um so I'm going to be using um 
yeah, Letitia's new here. So welcome, Letitia. All right, we're a really friendly bunch, okay? So join us whenever, you know, whenever we're live, come join us. Um, I'm going to be using P Design 11, okay? And I've got my USB, which I'm going to pop into the side of my uh, laptop. And I'm just going to save this now. I bought this from Etsy, okay? It came as a pack with a load of others. Um, wasn't that expensive either. I'll try and find it and list it in this video, okay? So you can go and get it. It is worth it. Uh, right, I'm going to send that to the USB. So there's copy and replace. I must have done it before, but not. I haven't actually uh, stitched it out. Right, so that's done. Okay, so that size is on there. Um, then I'm going to uh, shrink this. To shrink my design, okay, what I do is I go to control and what I do is click on the actual design. Then I click on the control key and then I drag it and make it smaller because then with PE design, it the stitches compensate either way. So you're not either stitching it too loosely or too tightly. Um, so don't just drag and drop it any old how because otherwise sometimes the stitches don't work out right so we're going to go for six about six six point four says sixty four point ninety so that's nearly sixty five mil so we'll do that um I'm gonna central I'm gonna center it I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that in my uh smaller hoop let me just go and check that it'll fit uh, I could float it I suppose but now the house phone's ringing. Can you odds that every time? Um, can you get it? Huh? Hi, Mary. My brother. <laughs> can you can you turn the speaker down or something? He's on. He's on loudspeaker. Do you need me? Sorry. What's the matter? Yeah. What's he want? Just to say hello. Oh, what? I'll talk to him in a minute then, okay? Yeah. So, right, is it important? important? Sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll ring him back in a bit. Um, so I'm going to use my, sorry about that, guys. 5.5 hoop for the flannel okay and for my towel I'm just going to put it on my 8 by 9 because that's all ready to go anyway all right so I'm going to central this so I know where it is on my hoop which is center um let's just make sure arrange and move to center right it's now in the center and then I'm going to send it to my USB I have to keep on taking these things out and putting them back in. Hi, Olu. Hi, Daisy. Um, right, so I put that in. Uh, let's send it to the USB and it will just replace that. I could make it bigger on my um, embroidery machine, but I'm not always happy about doing that because sometimes I don't think it quite works right. And I think you could potentially ruin the design. That's my theory anyway. Um, right, so don't copy. We're going to copy using another name. Okay, that's done. So that's on there. I just want to check um, that I had it centered before. Let me just check a minute. Right. Uh, right, let's do that a minute. Move to center. Okay. Um, right. I'm going to send and sew that one as well. It says send and sew. Uh, copy using another name. Right, okay. That's done. Right, everything's on my USB now. Right, so we don't got to worry about that anymore. And now I'm going to go and put my thread on my machine. Get that done. Shared you on in Discord. Oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> Wendy, hi. Hello, Wendy. Um, who haven't I said hello to? I've said hello to Daisy. Daisy. Oh, that's a nice name. I like the name Daisy. It's lovely. Right. Okay. Now, I don't know how much you can see. Um, 
this, this tripod won't go any higher. So if I just aim it about that, I am still in the middle of sorting out all my camera work. <laughs> it's a, it's an on, ongoing process. Right, I'm going to take off my purple because it's nearest to me. I'm just going to unravel that a bit, break the thread, and then I'm just going to tie it to this one here. There is a way to tie it, and I never get it right, but let's try let's try this way. Um, I always tie it a few times just so that when I'm pulling it through, it's not gonna it's not going to come undone. It's not. It's not. Hopefully. All right. Well, I've done it twice there. Let's see. I'm going to flick that across. I don't know. Can you see much? Probably not. Right. Um, and I'm going to just pull it from from the bottom here. So hopefully all being well, it should just pull straight through. Usually it gets stuck on these. Yeah, there we go. All done. So that was easy enough. Right. Just get some scissors. I haven't prepared anything. OK, I have never monogrammed a towel so i've never watched how to monogram a towel either i don't think or maybe i watched one of all i think ollie may have monogrammed a towel a long while ago i might have watched that um i can't remember now i've watched i do watch a lot of a lot of um embroidery videos but i don't recall watching one of these so right just gonna thread this can you see okay? It's not a lot there. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, no, I've got to move our thing first. We want number two. Put that back. Number two. There. Okay. Um, these these are the machines aren't that bad for threading. They they're quite easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, so we'll, uh, right, this should be okay. And I'm going to change the colour of my thread to, on number two, to a green. No, it's like a bluey colour, isn't it? We'll do that. Set. Oh, reset that. Set. Okay. Right, that'll do. Okay. Uh, right, now I'm going to go and get my USB. I'll read some of your messages in a minute. I'll just um, get this running. I've got so much stuff in the way here. I am trying to declutter. Um, for those of you that are in the UK, and I, I think the US is well, well, any country really, if you want to pay postage, that is, but it's free postage UK. I'm having a sale on all my fabrics on my Etsy shop. So please feel free. I have had quite a few orders lately. So thank you to those of you that have ordered. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to get rid of a lot of my fabrics. Right. Uh, let's go down and find them. Right. There's this one. Let's just check which size this is. This is the large one. Okay. But that's the nine point the 9.5 centimetres. So I'm going to go back a minute because you know, I'm going to go and look for the other one because I centred the other one. I'm not sure if that was central. Uh, I probably won't be able to find it now. Oh, there we go. Right, there's two. Let's go for uh, that one. Well, one's an M. Hmm. Right, so that one there measures, again, nine point... Hang on. Let's hunt. I think I did my husband's initial as well. I was going to do his... Some towels for him, but I haven't got round to it yet. Let's see if I can find these other two that I've just done. So what's everyone else up to then? Are we embroidering? Okay. Right. 9.5 again. Why is it? It seems to me like... Oh, hang on. So how many times I must have downloaded this design? Right. Eight point... This is about eight centimetres, this one. All right. So I'm going to go for that for the hand towel. All right. Now I'm going to get my... 8 by 9 hoop because it's all set for that. All right. I'm going to come back over here. And put you down there. Right. Let's have a look. Hi, P Hi PJ Mummy. Now, I can't remember your name again. Um, I can't remember it. What's your name? 
Matilda, hi. By the way, you did some really nice paintings. Thank you. Is it Matilda or Mathilda? Mary. Sandy. PJ Mummy, are you called Sandy? I think I, I think I think I remember somebody else saying that the other day. Towels, towels are my thing. <laughs> yeah, you do some lovely towels. I did this painting um, last night. This is, is that upside down? Yeah, there we go. I did that last night. That's a watercolour. Um, I've got to frame them. So, right. I don't think we need this anymore. You shouldn't put your Mighty Hoops near your computer, by the way. Not like me. Now, what I'm going to do is... I am going to um, put this, put some water soluble on here, okay? Um, or should I just, no, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put tear away on it, okay? Uh, now then, let's have a look for some tear away. We've got all these tear aways here to use. You can't see, can you? I've got a load of tear aways over here. And cutaways. Let me just. Ah, oh, there's a tear away. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Let me sit down for a second. As you all know, I love to sit. <laughs> it's Mathilda from the Netherlands. Hello. Right. Okay. <laughs> Lakeisha. Hello. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Oh, right. Let's get this out a minute. OK. This is from ETC Supplies as well. <laughs> In case you're wondering, it's a m mighty big roll of it as well. So like a metre long. Um, right. What are we using here? We're using a multi-tear, multi-directional directional, tear away product. OK. Um, yes. So there we go. We're going to use some of that. We're going to use some of this. So let's uh, chop that on the floor because there's no room in here. And let's get a piece of this big enough for, ideally, this is what I'm meant to be doing, is cutting it all up into into squares so that I haven't got to do this. Um, but as you know, time. I've had my husband downstairs today um, putting all my pamphlets and my business cards together for um and I'm going to use my good scissors as well I don't think really you should be using these scissors for like papery products um for my my uh embroidery he's been packing them all together so I can go out around the businesses and just pop them in their letter boxes try and get some work that way um flipping spell check should say babysitting <laughs> Wendy, I didn't get a chance today. I had to rely, I had to relay turfs in the garden with the help of a 12 week old puppy. Yeah, but that was fun. And and she was banny sitting. And yes, he had to have a bath after. Great fun. Not, no. So you were banny sitting, yeah? That's nice. I do a lot of banny sitting. <laughs> Babysitting. So Wendy was banny sitting today. Uh, right, this is tear away. I'm using tear away because then it's easy. I'm just tear it away. I haven't got to worry about it all. Um, right, I'm going to pop that on there. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, just so you know. I'll just go with it. Go with the flow. Right, let's have a look. Let's get this the right way up this time, shall we? Not like last time when me and Olu did a live and I got it the wrong way up. And we did a bunny. We did a fluffy bunny. So, right, it's going to go in like that. So, basically, I've got to remember to flip the design on there. That's what I've got to do. Okay, so we want it central. Central. So, if I fold it, let's do it. Let's do it right, shall we? Let's do it right. Right, okay. That's central. Um... You know me. I'm going to eye it in. So I've got it halfway over my hoop because I've got my little dots there where I can gauge it. And I'm going to pull that over there. Just make sure I've got it the right way. Not, I haven't. It's inside out. Hang on. Right. That way. Uh, right. Okay. So 
So I could use my uh, hooping station, I suppose, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go with it this way. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, some people float their towels, don't they? So, but I am going to do it this way. Right. Okay, so we have our towel, and that looks relatively, that looks relatively okay. All right, so I'm going to pop that on the machine. Hi, Tracy. Um, I'm going to pop this on the machine, and then I am going to flip the design around because it won't be the right way. And I promise I will get this bloody camera stuff sorted out at some point because all this swapping and to and fro in is not great. Right, let me just check my. Yeah, I've got plenty of bobbin. I haven't oiled my machine today because I hardly ever use my machine. So, um, not for wanting to, but it's just time. Right, okay. So that's all in. All right. Uh, let's have a look at this. Pull you up there a minute. Right. Uh, so we're setting that. We are going to, it's all central, central, it's central, it's actually central. Why is it on a small hoop? I don't suppose it matters, does it? Right, okay, so we'll edit end. I'm going to go to our colour threads and I'm going to put it all on number two. So basically the whole lot, I'm not having any colour changes, okay? It's all going to be on number two. So we'll click OK. Um, and we're going to just, oh, we've got to turn it over as well. So we're going to rotate it. And um, we want to rotate it all the way up the other way to there. So that's done. Okay. I'm going to do a scoot around just to see where it's going to go. And that looks about right. That's good. It's not on the band because you don't want it going on that band down the bottom there either. Okay. Right. I think that's going to be fine. So embroidery, everything's ready to go. I've just got to click on go, basically, unlock it and go. Now, have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. Um, I'm not going to put, I don't know, should I put water soluble down on this or not? I don't think I'm going to bother. I don't know. What should I do? What should I do? Should I put some water soluble on top or not bother? What do you think? What do you think the stitches will sink? Phone is dying and my charger is in the workroom. I'm being lazy on the couch. I'll pop back in later. That's all right, Nancy. You do that. So come on. What should I do? Is Olu still watching? Um, just goes to show I don't uh, I don't try and learn these things before I do them. Um, should I put some water soluble on there? I know I did for the applique that we done, but that was because we used fluffy fabric. Yes, water soluble. Right, I'm going to go and get some water soluble and we're going to pop that on. Uh, I'm gonna. I might tape it on. Let me think, let me think. I have got some tape, or should I pin it? I don't like using pins. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I think what I'm gonna do, definitely need it. There you go. There you go, see. Thank you, everybody. Aren't you uh, helpful? <laughs> right, okay, so I've got I've got this water soluble here. All right, let's put you on there. Sorry about the light. The blinds are, right, so I've got this water soluble there. That should be plenty wide enough. I'm going to cut a piece of that off and pop that over. And I think I'm going to hold it in place. Um, hi, Yamaki. Is it Yamaki Kucha, a Brodeo machine? Hello, Kim. Yes, absolutely on towels. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Right. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to pop that on there. And I'm going to hold it in place. There you go. I'm going to hold it in place. That light's terrible, isn't that? Let me move you around so you're not there. Okay. I could do with a taller tripod as well. That might be handy. Are we ready? Are we ready to go? Let me make sure that you're not telling me to do something else I'm not doing. Um, good morning, Kim, and everyone else. Happy 4th of July, my fellow Americans. There we go. Hi, Mary Garcia. Happy 4th of July. Right. Okay. Lock. There we go. It's quite a wide piece, so it shouldn't all rock up. It should be okay, she says.
I'm just going to hold this here a minute. Once it's done the outline, it should be fine. Now I should be able to just leave that a bit a lot. That thread colour matching is brilliant, and I haven't I haven't touched the um, I haven't touched the tension on my machine either. So all seems fine. I I have got a few of their um, threads. I've got this one, this colour here. It's really, it is really nice stuff, I must admit. Um, I've got a couple more there somewhere, but right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that do its business for a minute, and then I'll bring you back over in a minute. Um, let's see the top of my head, and we'll get the other one ready. I plan to do uh, in the hoop purse with my lily bug in a, in a bit live, Kim. I will try and watch you, Mary. All right, I, w I really will, but I have got, I've got painting and everything I'm meant to be doing um next week I'm going off to um Weybridge so I am going to be doing a window up for uh, with all my art so that's something to look forward to and I might do a bit of um video footage as well because I did a little bit of video footage of Meba Gizzy the other week and people seem to like that um right we can get this other one sorted now can't we as well uh the flannel Gonna do the flannel. Um, right, where are we? Where are we? Where did I put that stuff? Here it is. See what this uh, tearaway is like. It's quite thick. What grammage is it? Let's have a look. It is 60 gram. That's why it's quite thick. 60 grams. See, I normally use about 40 gram uh, stabilizers. So. That is quite a thick stabiliser. Um, right. Let's cut some more of this. Yes, I decided I am not going to be selling. Um, well, I'm going to try and cut out selling fabrics soon because I, I want to lighten my workload with things like that um i will be i'll carry on doing all this embroidery uh and showing people how to do certain things or getting you lot to show me how to do it <laughs> more like it um but i don't want to be selling like t-shirts and stuff like that really i have given people the means like to go out and be able to do it themselves and given them the name of the supplier that i get mine from so you know, if you do want to do it yourself, that's ideal. Um, I have been in contact with somebody from near my local area. Okay. And I don't know if she's watching. Um, and she will soon be stocking blanks, uh, the puff sleeve blanks as well. So um, I will gladly point you all in her direction. Okay. When she's up and running. So just waiting for that to all go ahead. So once I know where she, you know, any of you that I presume she may be shipping elsewhere, but in the UK, especially, there will be another blank supplier of the puff sleeve blanks. Um, Mary, what is the channel called? Mary's channel is just Mary Warzak. Uh, it's her name, Wendy. Right. So we've got the little flannel ready now. Okay, we've got our tear away on the back, and I'm going to put some water soluble on the top, like you all said. Now, I'll cut a piece ready. Uh, there we go. This water soluble is not very wide. This I got this from. I think I got this for this one from Amazon. It wasn't ET supplies. I know that. So I'll pop that in there, and that's all ready. Um, let's go and have a look at what this is doing, shall we? Oh, I like that. Can you see that? 
Oh no, hang on, let me get a light on it. Just get the light on, there we go. Is that any better? Can you see? Let me check on the iPad, see if you can see that. Yes, you can see it. There we go. Yes, Mary is trying to build up um, her YouTube channel as well. And um, she's she's been doing some quite nice um, embroidery uh, lives. So, you know, go check her out. Um, and her, her, her daughter plays um, like games on, on there as well, I think, with her husband. Not the daughter's husband, with Mary's husband. That looks quite nice. I like that. I really like that pattern. What do you think? Hope she is more trained than my puppy. <laughs> what sort of puppy have you got? You didn't say, did you? Hi, Shamira Customs. Good morning. Um, if you're new here, let me know. Hi, Dolphy. Dolphy Creative Corner. Hi. Finally on time for your live. Yes. Um, yes, Shamira Customs. Hello. I don't, whether I've, I may, I may have seen your name before, um, but I don't recall it. Right. Okay. So I'll bring you over to me again and you can, um, watch me, watch my lovely, my lovely face. <laughs> Next show. Right. Yeah, come over here. Let's move the camera again. It's like being on a boat. I always say that. Some people cannot cope with all the jogging about. I know that for a fact. I've had people say that. Yamaki, hi. You're new here as well. Well, welcome. Welcome from France. Um, as you would say, um, bonjour. Yeah, is that right? Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, I don't know a lot of I, I, I lived in Paris for six months and I did learn a little bit of French, but it soon disappeared. <laughs> uh, I worked, I used to work at um, Euro Disney when it first opened. Uh, this is my first time catching you live so I can interact. I've been following through. Oh, lovely. That's good. Yes, bonjour. 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 Right. Um... So we'll wait for that to stitch out. Like I say, this this is going to be pretty simple. If you want to know how, do you want to know how to, um, I don't know if you want to know how to exactly download your designs onto your, it's different for everybody, isn't it? It depends on what um, program you've got. I've got a, oh, a Cavapoo. I've never heard of Cavapoo. Are you doing spell checking again, Wendy? Do you mean a Cockapoo or a Cavapoo? Wendy's got a carver poo. Carver poo? <laughs> um, I've got PE Design 11. So what I do is I, although I am, um, I am subscribed to um, Creative Fabrica, okay? And you get a lot of designs on there as well. Um, I, they've got lots of embroidery designs, but I especially like it, funnily enough, more for the, um, the sublimation prints and stuff like that. There's so much on there that you can achieve. Um, I have got a link. I don't know if it'll be in this live description. It might be. If it's not, I'll put it in there. But it's in my other videos. Um, if you subscribe to it, you get 30% off every month. So it works out at 14 quid a month, which I think is very good. Um, and about $19 a month which is very, very good when you considering you get the whole thing. Um, I have seen adverts on Facebook and because I thought, oh, that's good. You know, there's an advert there saying you can get it for one dollar. But actually, if you read the small print or read it properly, it's actually aimed at a specific thing. So you won't get the entire library of everything like your embroidery, your sublimation, your um your cutting and your crickets and your um print you know all your card make everything you won't get all of it you it's just aimed at i think it's embroidery or one of the other things or fonts or something like that there's a lot of nice fonts on there as well 
There's thousands and thousands and thousands. In fact, I think there's millions. Um, cross between a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel and a Toy Poodle. That's different. Hi, Liz. Um, so, yeah, Creative Fabric is brilliant to go to. And I reckon, like I said before, you could definitely make a business out of it if you wanted to do things like just print your own mugs. There's everything there. Your own T-shirts. There's everything there. You actually could actually use it. I'm pretty sure this is right. OK, you can use it for printing T-shirts. But like, uh, let me uh, let me think of a different different um, thing. You can use it for, say, if you want to create a book and sell it on Amazon without having to do any of the creating, just basically do the design and then sell it on Amazon. So, do you know what I mean? It's called KDP or something, isn't it? But it's very good. Anyway, right. So basically, with my design here, I always, with all my fonts and all my names, I always bring it in from... In brilliance, I don't really use it for um, in PE design unless, of course, I am going to I want to do each letter separately because for some reason in PE design, you can only input unless you go up the top here and use the text itself. You can only input one letter at a time. So you're there for ages trying to write a name. So what I do is I just go into let's put my. Where's my thing? I go into Embrilliance and I download everything I buy in there. And I've probably shown you all this before. You probably won't be able to see much, but let's have a go. Um, let's find Embrilliance. You can get Embrilliance, right? There's a way of getting Embrilliance. You just get it for free. And it just really uses it for the fonts only. Don't, don't be fooled by... Um, because somebody paid so much money for it off Etsy and it wasn't really the correct thing that they were needing. Let me have a look. Right, here's in Brilliance. They are King Span uh, Charles Cavaliers and King Spaniels and all that and poodles that are cute little dogs anyway, aren't they? So basically, when you've got the free design, it's missing a serial number. So you just go, you bypass it. Don't worry about it. And then you can't see nothing, can you? It's probably a waste of time me showing you this. When I get my com computer all sorted, I'll be able to show you this just at a touch of a button. But um, there's a letter A at the top there. Let's see. And you would click on that, and then you can basically use your font if you've got a new. Sorry. Suzanne, hi. Just on my break at work. You're at work? On a Sunday? Is it? Is it Sunday, though? <laughs> of course it is. I asked some stupid questions. Let's go and have a look at this thing, shall we? Can you see much? It looks all right, actually. It's nearly finished, so we'll wait for this to finish a minute. I like, I do like doing them. I've seen them before, like in hotels and stuff like that, where the logo or whatever is in all in the same colour as the towel and I really think it's effective. I like it. Um we haven't got far to go now. I'll let I'll let that do its thing. Uh Heathrow Airport. You're at work at Heathrow Airport. Is it busy? <laughs> I will a picture on the group's Facebook page if my son says it's okay. Well Wendy, you have to be careful, don't you, with things like that, because there's a lot of um, things going around where people are stealing dogs and stuff like that. So to be honest with you, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother putting it on Facebook, to be honest. It gets busier. Yeah, I bet it's getting busier by the day. Yeah, did you hear that, Wendy? Probably not a good idea. You, you just don't know, do you? You don't know who's watching and who's, you know can't trust people these days. Even people go around nicking people's dogs when they're walking them. It's awful. Imagine that. I mean, oh, terrible. Oh, we're nearly there. Right. 
How many thumbs up have we got? Because sometimes it doesn't actually show you the true thing. Hi, Liz. Um, what's that there? What's that emoji you've just put, Liz? I can't see it. It's like a... Right, let's have a look. That's nice. I like that. Let's shut that up because it will keep on. There we go. It's not. It's upside down there, but it's. I promise you this time it's not upside down. It's not. Right. Where are we? Let's bring you over. I'm going to put the other one on in a minute as well. Uh, let's shut that down there. It's going to be quite a quick, quick live really. So I'm going to tear off this stuff. Nice and easy to tear off. Um, there's probably a better way of doing this so you don't have so much wastage. Like, there we go, all that waste. <laughs> probably could have kept some of that. Hi, Lottie. Um, right. And oh, we've said hi to Lottie already, actually, haven't we? So we'll tear that off there. And obviously, once you give this a good wash, all that's going to come off in between the embossed thing there do you know what I mean let's put it up the right way might help might not there we go there let's just fold it in yeah that's quite nice um this here won't be so white as this because it's because it's got um water soluble over it all this here will turn into the same cut the towel um See if we can get a close up there. So all that white stuff's gonna come off once you wash it, but that actually looks nice. I like that. I um I think I'm a great fan of the all the same colour, using the same colour as in the whole design. I see a lot of it in hotels. Um yeah, that's nice. I like that. There, so we've done that and we'll do the flannel. I don't know what it's I'm going to do a small one on the flannel, so it should be all right. So we'll go and put that on. Hi, Suzanne. Thank you. Right, let's go and put that on. Uh, we have to change our hoop size. Okay. Can I hear a cat? What's the matter? What's wrong with you? You can't come in here because I know what you like. You're not, you're not. I don't let the cat in here. I don't let the cat in this room. Oh, no, you can go away. Sorry. You're not allowed in here. You know you're not. All right, we've got to cancel this design before I can even change this. Hang on. Okay, right. Cancel. Okay, right, let's find it again. We can move it now. Don't know how much you can see there. Right. That should be right. Always make sure your back screws are tight. Don't over tighten them, but make sure they're tight so they're not going to move. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of jumping about. Right, and I'm going to pop that in there. Oh, look, I didn't do it. I did it too small. Let's move that again. One there. Right, that should be all right. Um, yeah, so I managed to sell quite a lot of fabric over the last couple of days so I'm quite pleased with that there's still quite a lot there so please go check out the Etsy shop because I put all my prices down um and if you're in the US and you're not keen on the postage cost and you think it's too high and you want some fabric message me because I will sort it out and I can try and find out exactly how much it's going to cost so you won't pay over it'll be one you know as it is exactly how much it is to send it. Well, I'm just going to get my other design up a minute. It's right at the bottom, wouldn't it? So let's just skip those. Um, no, I can't find other oh, it is. Right, I think it's that one. 6.4. Yes, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, set that. Now I'm going to rotate it again, okay, because I want it up the other way. Rotate it all the way around. Okay. Right, and edit end. So I'm going to change the colours again. I'm going to change them back to that blue. It's like a turquoisey blue, isn't it? Right, okay. I'll do a quick scoot around, make sure it's not going to go outside the hoop. Still pretty big. 
Probably could have got away with it being a bit smaller than that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. I'm going to move, actually, it's on the wrong way. Right, change that around. I've got to change this because, unless I bring it down to there, if you can see, it's got to come here. I've got it up here. Let me just go and change that a minute. I'll read some of your messages while I'm changing that. Hello, Marissa. Haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Oh, right. Just, I'm just changing this around a minute because now it's all sorted on the machine. I don't want to be messing about with it too much. All right. It's getting hot now. It's me. It's an age thing. All right. Getting there, getting there, I'll be back in a minute, <laughs> she says. Right, okay. Don't rush, Kim, because when you rush, you just mess it up. No point. Right, okay. That's that done. Okay, it's the right way around now. Let's see. Oh, that's broke now. Right, hang on. Right, there we go. I'll oh, quickly do another scoot around. It could probably do with being smaller, but what I might do is move it up just a little bit. Right, I'm gonna go for it. Right, I'm gonna go for it. Whatever happens, happens try and hold this but there's not a lot of room to get my hands in there did anyone watch um the the live that ollu did yesterday um she did an embroidered towel a hooded towel it was really lovely really nice if you haven't watched it go back and have a look quite good and she's got the design link down in the description as well right okay I think we can leave that to its own devices now should be fine okay how's that looking let's bring it back over okay here we go that awful heat wave they've had over in Canada huh how bad is that really bad apparently must be awful um it was a striking design yeah Wendy you watched it and um anointed song I'll have to go back and watch I have a single needle but want to learn how to do towels oh well um anointed song um, are you new here? Because I haven't seen your name before. Um, if you if you look up Olu, uh, hang on, she's the the Babe Mart Designs. If I type that in, she does. She's got a single needle machine, and she does um, towels. Or or did you already know that? Let's have a look. Um, the Babe Mart. Uh, I wonder if I can. Yes, I'm new. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's really nice to have you here with us. Uh, we are a really friendly bunch. Um, I do do lives as well. I have done a live with Olo um, from the Babe Mark Designs. She's got a single needle machine. And as you see, I've got the multi-needle. And we basically do, we have done the same exact design just to see there's not a lot of difference in it. It's just time, speed. But saying that, she finished hers before I did. <laughs> She had a single needle. I think my, the trouble was I did my design a bit bigger than hers, and that was what it was. Um, but, yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe um, and give this video a thumbs up. That would be great if you like it, that is. <laughs> no, I'm not forcing you to. 
Um, but Olu is, I'm going to put her in. Um, the bay, Olu's in Ireland. I've heard something there. What's that? Nothing. The make bade mark designs. Okay. Um, she, Olu's in Ireland and she's relatively, relatively new. She's just gone over her 1,000 um, subscribers. She's 1,020 or more. I can't remember now. Um, but she's uh, she's getting there. So feel free to check her out as well. But yeah, that's turned out pretty good. Um, yes, that's right, Mary. Olu has a Janome MC500E and she does have, she can use big hoops with hers. Uh, right. Let me just fold this and then we'll do it so it's all nice and right, shall we? I should know how to fold towels. I did used to work in the Disneyland Hotel in France. <laughs> I've worked in a few places in, in there actually. So, right, here we go. Let's have a look. It's not, I haven't folded it right. Fold it right, Kim. Come on. It is central. 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 It's central. It is actually central. Kim, I have a question. How do you feel about your gaming style chair? Do you like it? I love it. I love it. Honest, I really like it. Um, Hayley, my good friend Hayley, who I've met through YouTube, um, says it looks like a Playboy chair, Playboy bunny. It's not. <laughs> it's an Overwatch chair, apparently. That's a gaming chair, like you say, gaming. But there we go, look. Yeah. Doesn't that look nice? Still, I haven't folded it right yet. Still. <laughs> but it looks really nice. I like that. I like the thread. That thread can't go wrong with that it's all right um i love it because it's got like it's got like a memory foam cushion thing here although sometimes i take that off don't bother with that it's got this memory foam here behind the back look at this one. so comfortable right yeah. <laughs> um that's funny because the pink and the bunny. Yes. Who does the back if the towel look? Oh, what does the back of the towel look like? I used cutaway on it. Uh, not cutaway, tear away. Okay. So it looks like that. Okay. But eventually that there will just wash out anyway because it's a tear away. Um, that will come away. And all you'll see is the back of the stitching. It's, it doesn't look... And because it's all the same colour as the towel as well, it won't be that bad. What I'll do is I might, once I've washed this a few times, so I think it will probably take a little while for all that to come out. But even that, even so, you know, when you're putting the towels out, you know, on your towel rail, you're not going to see that bit anyway, are you? So, yeah. Um, ideal for hotels. That's what I thought about. Um, perhaps, um, <laughs> Mary, you want one of these chairs? <laughs> um, you know, I thought about putting cards out all over the hotels and everywhere as well because embroidering towels, you know, or dressing gowns, because they, a lot of them provide, these posh hotels provide dressing gowns. So I was thinking about putting some cards out there as well. Um, you know, it's all going to help. But, yeah, not bad, that. I quite like that. Um, I know. Um, anointed Song. I don't know if you've got a name, although I won't remember it. So I can't remember everyone's name. Um, I always see, if I watch a video and you see somebody making something and they don't show you what the back looks like, it's really irritating, isn't it? Because you just think, well... How, you know, it's like, uh, it's like these Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. It's like, what does the back of it look like? Does it look the same or what? You know, you buy these designs, say, off Etsy and stuff, and you don't see a picture of the back. Um, no, it doesn't show when you're hanging it anyway. But yeah, um, what was I saying for that? 
I went and bought a um I went and bought uh, like a, instead of doing my normal shopping food shopping this week I went to a before I finished I went to a I did this thing online where you can um create your own not create your own recipes you buy recipes and it's all put in the box for you so basically like today we've just done a um texans it says this is what it says texan style burger um in a um in a in a brioche roll wrap fat whatever you want to call it salad and like chips and stuff like that and they put everything in there they put the herbs the meat the bat the potatoes everything except for oil but they put every, all the herbs and everything in there and i did that for the first time today i can't say that i'm going to be buying i got 60% off this this week and I've got four meals for 19 quid but that's for, that's to feed four people although the portion sizes I would say I might I might put a little bit of video in my next video because I did film film myself stupidly doing it <laughs> stupid <laughs> um yeah so I was gonna say um yeah, so I, I made this Texan style burger from scratch. It shows you, it gives you the recipe sheet, it shows you exactly how to do it. And actually, it was really, really nice. Um, but there was something there a little bit worrying, something very worrying, um, when it told me that I had to massage the meat. And I was like, massage the meat? Really? Yeah, you've got to massage the meat for a whole minute because it makes it keep its shape. <laughs> massage <laughs> sorry it's my it's my mind just curious how is how it was finished so when i start i don't screw it up oh bless you um yeah so yeah so if you ever get a recipe and it tells you to massage the meat okay don't be alarmed just massage it i did i was massaging a bag of mints for a minute I even feel myself doing it, you know. So I'll uh, I might pop that in my la my next video. Um, right. Let's have a look at this. Let's go and have another look at this. Oh, they've seen all this before. There we go. There's our little flannel. Can you see our little flannel? I think Olu must have left. Are you not here anymore, Olu? Wrong channel for that type of video. <gasps> no, Suzanne. No, 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 no. I think we've got the wrong idea. <laughs> Suzanne. <laughs> Look at all this jogging about. This is what you call professional videography. Okay? It's professional you know, I don't mess about. I know you're joking. I'm joking too. <laughs> I just could not believe it. I honestly couldn't believe it. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you what my husband said, okay? <laughs> Shut up, Kim. Be quiet. Right. Uh, for those of you that have just joined, last night I was painting up until about 11 12 o'clock midnight I think it was <laughs> um I'm doing some watercolors for a gallery this is not my usual stuff okay um but there we go I did that I don't know if I showed any one of this before um I also did this one here doesn't look like much, but people absolutely love these, you know. They're called the uh, the coming home trees or the nearly there trees, okay? It's a place, it's a landmark uh, in Cornwall, or on the way to Cornwall. And then some fishies. I did some sparkly fishies look. So these ones are up here because I am going to um, frame them. So what I did yesterday, let's just put that away. This is all not even embroidery related now 
but we are waiting for that. It's nearly done, and I'll show you. Is it done? Yes, it's done. I'll go and get it a minute. Hang on. Be quiet. Right, okay. So there we go. Um, anointed song. Uh, just so you know, there we go. There's the back, all right? That's what the back looks like at the minute, okay? That's what the front looks like at the minute. We're going to take it out of the hoop. Right, take it out of the hoop, and then we're just going to tear that away. I think it's always best to use tear away on things like this, because if you were going to cut it, it's pointless having cut away, because you're just, just going to be left there. I used cut away the other day on, on the towel I think I did with Olu. I used cut away on the back, and it's not really suitable. <laughs> what did I use? No, I didn't. I tell a lie. I actually used washable, washable cutaway. Yeah, water soluble cutaway stuff. But anyway, so there we go. And we do is you just that just tears off, or you can chuck it all in the wash. But there's no point. You just want to tear that bit off. And then these little bits here around the edges and stuff. Okay, where you can see, you see there's bits here, and there's bits all in that little squares there. That will all wash off once it goes in the wash. All right. And you can choose to wash all this before, if you're selling it all, you can wash it all or put a note in, say to wash it. I don't know. Um, I've never sold anything like this before. Like I say, this is my first time doing this. All right. Um, there's my little flannel. So I suppose not too bad. There we go. Flannel and is that upside down? No, it's the right way around. And a hand towel there. Not too bad, does it? Not really. Um, so there we go. I have my own towels with the letter K on. Fuck him. <laughs> right. There we go. That is it. That's all I was going to show you today. Sean, that's good to ask though. Sean. Who's Sean? Oh, is Sean the lady? She's already told me her name. I'd, Oh, it's Sean. Anointed song. Hi, Sean. Is Sean as in Sean? Sean or Sean? Or is it a boy or a girl or a man or a woman, should I say? Because um, Sean's like a boy's name as well, isn't it? And a girl's name. Sean. What's your... What are you? What are you? <laughs> what are you? Um, right, let's have a quick gander over here because otherwise I'm not going to do any more embroidery, okay? So if you want to go, please feel free to go and thank you for joining me, all right? Um, I really appreciate it. But that is how you embroider a towel. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. You can get the design off of Etsy, all right? Um, if you've got the means to do it yourself, um, by all means do it yourself, okay? What are you? Yeah, I didn't mean it so bad, okay? I meant it as in, are you a man or a woman? <laughs> a boy or a girl? <laughs> oh, I like. Thank you. Right, in here, I purchased some, because I needed these. These are all for my art business, okay? So basically, um, nope here for the long run. Thank you, no matter what you do. Oh, thank you. Um... Did anybody watch the rugby? Because I missed it. England and America, England and the USA. Did anyone watch it? Because I missed it. Apparently, one of the American players um, grabbed hold of one of the English players, or the British England players, should I say, and ripped all his shorts and boxer shorts off. Is that right? That's what my husband said. He wasn't watching it. He heard it on the news, on the radio. So... Apparently, everything was out on show. <laughs> so I shouldn't laugh. That's naughty, really. But I missed it. I missed it. I didn't see it. Right. Shut up, Kim. Get on. Right. I bought all these here, okay? These are, um, yeah, I know. Oh, my. Oh, my. I was like, which, which England player was it? Which one? I hope you didn't watch this. <laughs> I'm a grandma, but I get mail for a Mr. Sean all the time. Bless you. I called my daughter 
Finley. Okay. Call her Finley with an A. F I N L A Y, right? I called her Finley and she wasn't very happy with me because every time she went to the gym with her husband to be, okay, who's actually called a, a man's name, all right, the woman at the, the, the till would look at her and go, um, no, would look at him and go, Finley. And she'd be like, no, I'm Finley. Oh, I thought Finley was a boy. Um, Yes, right. So we, anyway, I've got these, right? Okay, different colours. And then in amongst here are some plain white ones, right? So we've got some plain white ones. And um, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to pick... Let's have a go. I've got a blue... I've got this here, right? That painting there. Sorry this is not embroidery related. And I quite like that colour there, which is like a, t a turquoise till. So what I'm going to do is that I've got to cut all the edges off of here. Yeah, right. So I'll pop that over there like that. And then I'll pop the next one over there like that. Hang on. Show you. There we go. OK, so that is what it looks like. Um, done. Finished. OK. Um, a pointed song at Coffee Powered Home. Low. I found you from Angela's videos. Um, Mary, nice Kim, it matches perfect with a towel. Oh, it does actually, doesn't it? Look, yeah, you're right. Look at this. Look. There you go. A nice bathroom picture. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then I have got, say, let's have a look. We've got, where did I put that, that um, other one? Where's it going? Oh, there it is. So we've got that one there, yeah, which I've got some bigger things. Now, I don't quite know whether to use the, that colour again, or I've got like a, could could use like a pinky colour, I suppose, I don't know. Right, hang on. There. There we go. See what a difference that makes. Do you think? It makes a lot of difference. Um, there we go. Right. So, uh. I am going to be framing some stuff up. I've got to do that today, actually. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to... I, w I probably won't do it while I'm on here because I don't want to mess it up. Right, let's have a look. Uh, Mary, beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, Liz is awesome sometimes. Liz, you're all right. Stop it. <laughs> Liz is all right. I haven't seen Hayley today. I wonder if, if Hayley's okay. I hope so. Uh, Olu was with us earlier. I think she must have gone now. Diane, hello. Good afternoon. Happy Freedom Day to USA, chatters. Oh. Diane, country hut. Hello. Um, so what is everybody up to today? Are you up to much? Or have you decided to have a bit of a day off? I've got to go and uh, do some painting and I've got to, I've got to frame some of these up. I've got, let's have a look at this one here. So I think that will look quite nice once that's in its frame. It's amazing really what a frame does. Hello, Adana Kanezi. Adana Kanezi, hello, hi. You Are you new here? Because I don't recognise your name. I've been discussing art. <laughs> Like me, I go on to all sorts of things. Um, we have been embroidering towels, okay, monogramming towels. These have been done. This is a flannel, actually. There you go, look. Do you think I got it central or not? Do you think it's a little bit out? No, I'm not here, new here. No, okay. Um, so many names, I never remember everybody. <clears throat> but we have been doing towels. There we go, done that one as well. Um, it's my first time monogramming a towel actually and I I actually quite like it it's quite simple and it doesn't take that long either um, so it might be a good thing to sell uh, I don't know about posting mind posting stuff like this because it once it gets over this thick here it costs sh not short of three pounds anyway so three quid you've got to add on straight away for sending something like that um, so it's a lot of money 
So what do you do? Where do you draw the line? I think what I might do is, like I said, go around hotels and stuff like that and pop my card and my um, leaflets and everything in there. For those of you that don't know, I had some printed off from Vistaprint. Um, I designed them and then just had them sent off and purchased them from Vistaprint. Um, I had some little ones done. Some of you have already seen all this. Hi, Stampin' Sue. Happy Independence Day. Um, there we go. So I had some little ones done like this um, with all my um, socials on the bottom there. That was for that. And then I had some of these others done, which my husband has been. Um, my husband has been packing all these like leaflets together with these catalogues that I've got, these clothes catalogues. Let's open them. Um, I was going to say something to you. I've got some, um, I'm selling all my fabric off in my Etsy shop, okay? Trying to, anyway, because I don't want to sell fabric anymore. And my shirts, my t-shirts, um, my puff sleeve shirts and so on and so on. Now, let's just have a look. I don't want to, my, my, my telephone number's on this, so I won't be showing you that. We don't want to flash that all over the internet, do we? Right, okay, so there we go. Yeah, so I had all that put as I've got price lists and then email address and that's just the front there. Yeah. So I had those and they're going out to all the businesses around here. So hopefully try and get a little bit of business to get that embroidery machine working. Um, because other than that, I don't use it. Uh, it's just sitting there, really, which is a shame. Um I saw myself, I've only told one person this, and she probably thinks I'm mad, but I said to her, she asked me how I was doing today, okay, how am I, did I get decluttered, okay, and I said, uh, yeah, I'm getting there, slowly, getting there, but, and I, it must have shocked her, I haven't looked at her, if she's replied yet, um, I said, I'm thinking of selling my machine and buying a kiln for fused glass. That's me again. So, yeah, I'm just going back to work. Break over. I've just ordered a few of your puff sleeve shirts. Excited to use them. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. Um, right. Yeah, so I said, oh, I, said, I might sell my machine and buy a fused uh, glass kiln. Gla uh, glass kiln? Because I quite fancy doing fused glass. Now, if I could have my time again, I'm a really creative person, okay? I love I love anything arty, painting, embroidery. I've got into that now, but I only got into that last year. Never done it in my life. Okay, I've used a sewing machine and I've done a little bit of freestyle embroidery, <coughs> which is nothing like that. Um, but I think if I have my time again, honestly if I'm truthful and honest with you which I always am anyway um I think I wouldn't have bothered buying that and I would have bought myself now probably a fused glass kiln because I quite like the idea of that I love anything crafty um I've done jewelry making I've done um card making card making doesn't really pay for me I don't think cause there's a lot of things that you've got to buy to create these cards and they don't you can't always sell them for what they're worth what they cost to make them I don't think <clears throat> excuse me I'm actually trying to declutter so am I now then shall I just give you a little whiz around here this is just one room all right I've got a shed outside which has got a load of paint art stuff in it nothing nothing of any value okay it's just paint spray paints um pouring paints you know I used to do a lot of pours like dutch pours and stuff like that um a lot of splashing that sort of stuff in the shed um I've got fabric in my bedroom okay right by my bed which isn't great <laughs> um we were thinking of having it putting on an extension but I just I'm not going to go that I'm not going that far you know we should always be happy with what we've got <clears throat> because we could have less and that's what I always say. So you get people moaning that they, their space is so small and actually it's flipping massive. You know, I've walked, 
I, I'm not going to name names, but I've watched videos before of people and they like they're moaning about their space, and you think, oh my god, really? It's huge. You know, there's some I know some people out there that have only got a tiny box room and they get on in it, you know. And I've seen you know little videos and slips of stuff like that. Um, and it's it's lovely, it's lovely and cozy. Yeah, you can't fit loads in it, but we should always be happy with what we've got. We should never really complain um, that we want more all the time because I think, you know, well, that's just me anyway. Um, yeah, my dining my dining area is where I paint as well. I paint down there. I don't bring paint up in this room because I do resin up in this room, but I cover everything over. Um, not everything. I cover this whole table over with a plastic and a cloth, then a plastic. Okay. So nothing gets on anything apart from the plastic. Um, and I don't do that on a regular, regular basis. I do it when, I, if, and when I have to. So that's that. My lounge, I like to sit down of an evening and paint and I like the, cause then I can spend time with my husband and he sits there, he's watching the TV. I'm sitting there and I'm watching, I'm watching Netflix or something on my phone. Cause I don't always watch what he watches on the telly and I paint. Um, and yeah, the corner of my lounge is very small and there's splashes of paint all up the walls and everything. <laughs> um, and yes, the more space we get, the more we cram in. Now here I have got frames which are empty because I need my frames for my art they've got to go somewhere I can't put them outside in the shed because they'll get they could get moldy or anything I don't want them getting damp um and I've got I make you chuckle <laughs> I've got um two boxes of t-shirts over there I've got big box of t-shirts underneath this desk here I've got stuff all stuffed at the back of this desk here with more frames. I've got fabric all over there, which is quite neat. Let's have a look. Let me show you. I'll flip the camera around and then I can see what I'm showing you. Um, how do I flip this around? Let's have a look. There. Right. OK, so I've got all my fabrics down there. OK, that's not all of them. That's just some of them. The flat fabrics in this cupboard here. Right, I've got. It's all stuffed underneath there. I've got HTV vinyl and crap over there. I've got all packaging and everything all over there. I've got a load of um, back, you know, this stuff here. There's all my industrial sewing machine, which I haven't really used much yet. I've got my diamond paintings up there. More fabric stuffed in there. There's all magazines and everything down there. More packaging. We've got books and DVDs and all stuff up there. We've got all this crap here um pens these are just stuffed full full of um just absolutely full to the brim there's zips and threads and everything in there oh, it's just ridiculous like i say under there is a load of stuff we've got stuff all just stuffed over here and then you've got that nice corner over there it just spoils it you know look at it it's a mess i hate it i don't like all this stuff here those are my um, blanks from China. Okay, um, we've got a load of frames underneath the table there, and then we got all these bits and pieces all here. My cricket, and there we go. And then I try to keep this area sort of tidy, but yeah, we've got my ring light there, and that that thing there, which really it's okay for taking photographs of adults' t-shirts. That's about it. Um, and then we got that. There we go. There's me again. Right, so there we go. Junk everywhere. Let me turn you around again. There we go. Stuff. And that is just this room. Downstairs, in the electric cupboard, I have shed loads of crafting stuff. From wooden shapes to glue to um, clay to flip knows what. Um, and like I say, in the corner of my lounge, it's just full. I'll put some, I'll put some paintings up on my, um, I tell you what, um, I've got, a, right, I'll let you all know this now. I've got, you probably already know anyway. I've got a fan club, okay, with Creative Fabrica. It's $2.99, okay? That's all it is. $2.99 a month. I put it at the lowest possible. Um, the more, um, you know, fans I get, then I'll start putting a bit more stuff on there well I'll still put the same amount of stuff on there anyway but I might start putting even more stuff on there 
I've got two fans at the minute. And thank you. If you are watching or if you do watch this video, thank you, thank you, thank you for fanning me. Okay, fanning me? Does that sound right? For being a fan. It's, I know you're all fans anyway, but thank you for joining my Creative Fabrica fan club. OK, there will be links to it in my videos. Um, if you want to join, I will be putting what I'm considering doing is doing private, maybe a private live, possibly once a month. It depends on how many. If I can build up a good following, I will do private lives. OK, um, and that's just between us. Um, even if there's only three, four well, hang on. Let's just say, let's just, maybe threes are not quite enough. Let's just say, if I've got about 10, if I can get about 10 fans, okay, then I will start doing private lives, all right? And those lives, I'm inclined to just keep for my fans and not even bother putting onto YouTube, which I think would be, um, I think that would be a good idea because that's a bit more of an incentive as well. Um, you'll get to see something that other people will not see. And I, I do promise I am getting myself sorted here. Um, I'm going to stop selling blanks. I'm going to stop selling um, fabric because that way I can focus on things like my art and then my embroidery. But when I say embroidery, I don't mean going out making loads of money with embroidery, but I mean showing people how I do embroidery, um, you know, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Um, it's like we need a warehouse, 30-30, but we don't. Yeah, yeah, I know. Terrible. It's just, you can't, you know, you can't do it. Like, I can't have all this stuff up here. It, um, it gets me. And I don't get a lot of stuff that I really should have done. Um, it's trying. <laughs> My daughter says to me, write everything down. And then you can go through the list. And I sit there and I say, well, yeah, but I don't know what to write down first. I don't. There's that much stuff to write down, you know. And I mean, from things like doing my accounts. I haven't touched my accounts now for a few months. Quite a lot of months, actually, but not quite a year. And luckily, I got until, I think it's January before or maybe October. I can't remember now. I think the first first the first thing's October and then the latest you can do it is January so I've got all that to do the whole of this last tax year so I've got to do that um so that's in my brain at the minute life with Hina hello I had to put my embroidery machine on my dresser now we've got stuff all over <laughs> our bedroom it's like what you'll do for the love of your craft I know my husband makes me laugh he goes <laughs> he'll come in and he's just <laughs> You should have seen this room earlier. Oh, my God. I was packing up orders, okay, because I'd sold quite a lot of fabric because I've put all my fabric on sale. It's really, really cheap at the minute, okay, and it's free postage if you're in the UK. And um, I've had a load of blanks as well, which I sold, and I had stuff absolutely everywhere, and I was up at 7 o'clock this morning doing that. He was in bed still, and then he comes in, and he's going, I won't tell you exactly what he said. He just went, looked at me, and he went, oh, what the hell have you bought? All this stuff, he goes. What is it with you? You don't know when to stop, do you? You just don't know when to stop. It's like, no, I know. I know. Terrible. It's not good. Seriously, need, I seriously need to get this sorted. It's just ridiculous. Let me turn that over. Um, I say, I've got a camera here. I've got a camera, yeah. I'll tell you what it is. It's a G7X Mark III, okay? And, yeah, I've used it, but not to its full potential. And I still keep meaning, I keep saying this in every every video. I say, I'm going to sort this out next. This is going to get sorted out next, honest. I've got to use it properly. I need to use it to my full potential. I want to stop all this wire, all these wire. Mind you, she says that. I want to stop all this wiring going across the floor. but. Now I've got this thing here, which is like a switcher machine, so that basically I haven't got to haven't got to worry about Streamyard, but um, you can use it with in conjunction with Streamyard. Um, but I haven't got to bother about it. I could use that and then switch between instead of all this toing and froing from the machine and then to me to the machine. I put my camera on over there and I'll just talk to you and then just flick the switch. And then it can go over, and I won't have to move all this camera stuff, will I? But 
I've got to find out exactly how to set it up. I've got to get a couple of leads that you don't get with it. So that's that. Um, I think I've talked too much now. I think I'm going to bag bugger off. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> um, right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay. Well, the live, should I say. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, we've completed a flannel. One flannel and one hand towel. Okay. With my initial on. and. I'll um, get the link for this and I'll pop it in this video when, once I get time, all right? Um, Mary, no idea on those gadgets. Mary, before you go, before I go, Mary, 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 quite contrary. Yeah, I bought one. Um, your husband said something about a game capture, capture card, didn't he? And I actually went and bought one. Um, but I don't know how to use it yet, all right? <laughs> that was my chair squeaking by the way my comfortable chair so yeah I, I bought one of these okay um this is for this is for my gaming channel everyone not i mean, joking we'll see about that i don't get time this is the trouble i want to play my games i love playing my games i've got my switch here look. there we go so that thing there is going to plug into that hopefully so we've gone from embroidery to art to uh, playing games. So you can plug this thing in, apparently, to that capture thing. So Mary's husband said. And, um, yes, tell him. Tell him. It's called a game capture card. It's just called one of these. Here, look. HD60S, whatever. And, oh, it's called an El Gato. El Gato, that's what it's called down there, look. Um, so I'm hoping it says here you can use this with the Nintendo Switch as well, and with Twitch and YouTube and Xbox One, Xbox One S, and PS4, PS4. Isn't there a PS5 around there? Doesn't say PS5 on there, but I presume it would work with that. I haven't got a PS anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't matter to me. He's thinking of getting one too. Yeah, go on, get one. I think that there, I don't know. No, I don't think it was 70 quid. I think there were. You can get, I think you can get some at about 70 pounds. I can't remember how much that is. I think it was over 100 pounds. But in dollars, I'm not sure. I think that's over $130 or something like that. I'm not sure. You can go live on PS5 without a card. Ah, right. That's why then. Okay. Well, that's good. So basically, I can use that. I can go live on it. And then they can see me as well as my gaming which i will get around to when i'm about 90 years old <laughs> all the stuff i've got to do i've got to get this stuff cleared out right i'm gonna go because i am thirsty and i need to have a drink um yeah mary i'll try and catch you at some point and then we can have a little chat about that all right because i'm a little bit new to all that i'd like i like the idea of it uh right Feel free to please check out um, my Etsy shop for all this cheap fabric. I want to try and get rid of it all. Um, and also, if you um, fancy joining my Creative Fabrica fan club, it's $2.99 a month, which I think is less than £1 something, I think, all right, um, a month. And, you know... We'll do some different things. I'll, I'll be doing a little bit of uh, behind the scenes stuff as well. So, and I'll think about what else I can do. Depends on how many, um, you know, how, how big the fans, you know, how, how much it builds up. Um, okay, right. I am going to go. Thank you very, 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 very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And, you know, honestly, I, I love the fact that you come and watch and support me. It really does really does help me all right there we go right i'm gonna go you have an awesome day too have a good good day have a good um independence day have a good have a great day right i'm gonna go goodbye bye see you soon and i'll try and pop on mary okay bye for now everyone